In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the Profile tool. I'm going to start by creating a 2-inch horizontal line, a 2-inch vertical line, a 1-inch horizontal line, a 1-inch vertical line, a 1-inch horizontal line, and a 1-inch vertical line to close the profile. The Profile tool works much faster than the Simple Line tool. Let's delete this and activate the Profile tool again. This time I'll create a 2-inch horizontal line. Now I'm going to activate the Tangent Arc subtool and create a tangent arc. The blue color indicates that this arc will be a tangent. Now I'll create a 2-inch vertical line. To be sure it's vertical, it needs to be blue. Let's add another 2-inch horizontal line. Now I'll press mouse button number 1 and hold and drag this out into a square. You can see that Katia has created another tangent arc. The supporting geometry shows the center of the arc and the vertical line to which the arc is tangent. The blue color of the arc also indicates tangency and shows that it's 90 degrees against the horizontal line. OK, let's close this profile. And let's delete this profile and try out another one. We'll start with a 1 inch horizontal line. Now, a half inch tangent arc. From here, I'll create a three quarters inch vertical line. And we see it's blue, that means it's vertical. Now, I'll create a 180 degree tangent arc and another three quarter of an inch vertical line. Another half inch tangent arc, and one more horizontal line, a half inch vertical line, and now we're going to create a three point arc. There's our second point, and here is our th third point. Let's close this G, let's close this profile. Okay, everything looks fine. We've got horizontal and vertical constraints. But here we don't have tangency. Let's control select this line and this line. Click on constraint definition and select tangency. OK. And this concludes our tutorial on the profile tool.